Hey everyone, Miss B. Aven here. Welcome back to another video where today we are going to be looking at a few of my classic handheld video game consoles. So let's get right into that. First up, I just want to give some honorable mentions to a couple of my classic handheld consoles that have unfortunately broken and I do plan on fixing them or at least trying to fix them. If you guys want to see that in a video, please let me know and I'll be sure to do that. But we're going to be taking a look at, I have my Game Boy Color here, Atomic Purple. Um, it's actually not, it's, it's um, not broken per se. This, uh, as you notice, there's no screen cover here. That is because um, I was doing a replacement on one because my original one was pretty beat up. And when I put the new one in and I like, it, it was a little too big for this area here. If you can see that, there's a cutout there. Uh, it was too big for that area. I put it in and it cracked. So um, I think I'm actually going to plan on doing an IPS screen mod uh, for this because um, I've always wanted to do that. And they're not super hard to do, but yeah, here it is. Actually, for the longest time, I didn't even have this. I had to order this separately because, you know, it, they're hard to, <laughs> hard to keep track of sometimes. But there's my uh, purple... I believe it's Atomic Purple uh, Game Boy Color uh, that I love the color of that. Um, and then, of course, bringing it way back to the OG, I have a original Game Boy. This is one that my brother actually gifted me. Um, as you can see, there's some damage in the screen. It was like that when he had given it to me, um, but I still played through and I love this thing. I had so many classic games, Mario and Tetris, of course, um, but... I do, it's not broken again per se, um, it turns on, games don't really work that great on it, of course there's this giant <laughs> splotch here so the entire screen would need to be replaced, but I think I might actually just do a, uh, again an IPS screen mod on this or something of that nature, but um, yeah, the classic Nintendo Game Boy, I love that. A big problem with these was that the screen would fall off over time because of the glue that Nintendo used. So that's a, a very common issue, but I still have it, haven't lost it. So that's at least something. Continuing on with my Nintendo consoles or handheld, I have a uh, Game Boy Advance. This is a, I believe it's fuchsia pink. Um, not a hundred percent sure on that, but it's a clear pink Game Boy Advance that I also love. Actually, growing up, uh, me and my sister, we both had Game Boys, again, supplied to us by my older brother. Um, I always played on the purple, which is my favorite, and then she had this one. Well, actually, I, I never really used to like it, but I've definitely grown to appreciate it. Um, the form factor is amazing. By far, one of the most comfortable Game Boys to play on. Um, and I recently just did a major cleaning and um, kind of a restoration on it. It was pretty dirty. I took it all apart, did a, cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol, cleaned the case, got a new screen here, and even have a screen protector on it. Um, so I, I did want to do a mod on this, but after doing all of that work to make it OG again, I may just keep it as it is. Um, but yeah, again, you don't see them very often with the, the battery covers. When I originally, me and my sister had it, it didn't have the battery cover on it, but I ordered that. They're not uh, too cheap. You can find them on eBay for pretty cheap. They're not OEM, you know, they're not original, but it, it doesn't really make a big difference to me. It looks pretty much factory. So um, yeah, great game. I'll turn it on here for you just to show you that it works. Oh, watch it not work. This one, the power switch is a little finicky sometimes. There you go. Got the Game Boy. Love that. Um, and I will show you, I'll bring back in here the Game Boy Color just to show you that that does too work. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it does not have any batteries in it. One second. All right. I got some batteries in it now, so let's try that again. I'll just show you that it does work. Indeed, it does. Um, as for the Nintendo Game Boy, these bad boys took four batteries, and I don't actually even know if I have that many with me right now, but I don't know if you can tell, but there is some corrosion. 
some battery acid corrosion on the terminals. So this one's definitely uh, we're going to be a work in progress. And like if I shake it, you can tell something's loose in there. So it's definitely got some things I got to work on. So no worries there, but it does turn on. Believe me, it does. All right, continuing with our Nintendo consoles, we have the DSi. Uh, as you can tell, mine has got a couple of scratches and uh, just handprints on it from years of use. Not by me, of course. Actually, um, a DSi was like the first main console that I actually had. I mean, I guess I did have all these Game Boys, but um, this is the first one I actually kind of remember <laughs> playing. Um, this is not the one that I grew up with. I had a dark blue one for the longest time. And, you know, as kids, when we, when we get these things, when we grow up, uh, we tend to trade them in to get the next best thing or something else that we want. So I did sadly end up trading that in for something I don't remember what, but I don't have my original one from my childhood. But I did get this not too long ago. I wanted to pick it back up and replay some of my uh, childhood games. Um, but yeah, DSi, it's a little dirty. I've been playing quite frequently on it lately, but I should do a cleaning on it. But yeah, I'll turn it on here so you can see. Classic. The DSi is just, I mean, it's so nostalgic for me, I guess. That's probably a big reason of why I love it so much. But just the, the clamshell design, I think, was a great move. Um, if they had... Again, it's not the most comfortable thing. I mean, I, if you can tell, I have big hands. One hand of mine is an, enough to cover the entire DS, but um, it's not the su most super comfortable. Like I said before, the Game Boy Advance original, the AGS-001, is probably by far, or sorry, the AGB, I should say, uh, is by far the most comfortable form factor I've ever had in a handheld device. And um, if they integrated that form factor with a clamshell design, that would be amazing. But yeah, as you see here, I don't know what was playing last. Uh, Disney's Frozen Olaf's Quest Big Hero 6. Um, I don't know, it's just a cheap game I picked up. It's a bundle pack there, you can see. Um, it's pretty fun, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of like a shovelware game. Not too hard or fun, but I um I'm, I do plan on maybe doing some homebrew to this or some hacks. I don't know. Maybe put some ROMs on it. I'm not 100% sure yet because, um, as you all know, uh, DS games, not all of them, but the I mean, at least the ones that I want to play are, are steadily rising in price, especially ones like Zelda and, and things like that. So I don't know. We'll see what, what happens there. Now moving on to my next Nintendo handheld. Um, I'm only including this because it is, does come in the handheld, is of course the Nintendo Switch. Um, I, I'm only including this because the main way I play it is handheld. I rarely have it on my TV. Like, I usually only put it on the TV when we're playing Mario Party or Mario Kart with a, with a group of friends. But here it is, the Nintendo Switch. I have the OLED model, as you can tell. I just upgraded not that long ago to it, but... I have quite a few games. Uh, recently just beat Metroid Dread. I loved that game. Um, it's it's actually the first Metroid game that I've beat. Um, I played a lot of Metroid Prime uh, on the GameCube back in the day, but never actually beat it. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just including this because I love it so much and I do, I do consider it a handheld, even though it's technically a I guess you could say a hybrid console, but um, I love it a lot. Uh, not the most comfortable, but in my opinion, this is probably more comfortable than a DS, um, just because it's a little bigger, a little more room for my hands to, to move. But uh, for extended periods of time uh, play, especially in handheld mode, I suggest getting a grip. There are some pretty comfortable ones out there. I don't have any on me right now, but um, I would definitely suggest that. So there is that, the Nintendo Switch OLED. I just want to also uh, mention this. I just found this actually at my local used video game store. Um, whenever I see like a official case for a product that I own, I always pick it up because 
I don't know, maybe it's just me and it's some weird niche I'm into, but I, I really enjoy collecting these. Um, I just found this one, like I said, recently at my local video game store. It's for the Game Boy Advance, not the SP, the one, the original Game Boy Advance, um, which I enjoy playing. There's room for the Game Boy Advance would go in there. So this would go in here like that. Um, and then there's room in, in the back for uh, game batteries, whatever else you need in here. I've got all my Game Boy ga games in here. Uh, I only have one Game Boy Advance game. It's this Flash game. I'm a huge fan of Flash, so I love that game. I've beaten that already, but um, I'll actually, you know what? I'll take some of these out and show you what I got here. So we've got Game Boy Advance, the Flash. Here's my Tetris collection. I have the original Tetris, which is, which is cracked. The case is cracked, but the game works fine. Love that. Spent many hours on that. Um, but like I said, I have a Tetris collection. I have Tetris 2 as well, which is in better condition. And I have Tetris Attack, all for the original Game Boy. I do have all original Mario games right here. This is the first one, Super Mario Land. Again, you can tell a lot of wear on it. Um, I've played this thing so much. Love that game. Uh, we have Super Mario Land 2. And, well, this one is very weathered. Look at that. Compared to these, it's like yellow. <laughs> oh, this one's also pretty weathered, but uh, Wario Land, which is Super Mario Land 3. So, oh, I got some. Uh, the, so that's the main games that I have, like the more recognizable ones, at least. Um, I do have a all-star baseball game. I don't know. These are, these are from a long time ago. Uh, NFL Blitz. I've got that as well. And then the Star Trek game. What does that say? Star Trek Generations. Is it Enter the Nexus? I can't read it. Beyond the Nexus. Um, and then I have Gex, Enter the Gecko, which I love this game. I love Gex. Um, I think it's a great franchise. Played a lot of it on PlayStation, but it's cool to have it handheld as well. So those are all of the Game Boy games that I have. All right, so we're moving on to a non-Nintendo handheld, and this is the only non-Nintendo handheld I've ever had, and it is the PSP. Um, here it is. It's a, it's a classic uh, Sony console that a lot of people I know enjoyed. Um, I think... There's a big dispute on the UMD cartridges for it. I think they're pretty cool. I think it's a neat feature. Obviously not very practical to make an entire new type of um, way of receiving games for a system, but it was cool uh, for its time. Uh, PSP, here it is. Um, I'll turn it on here for you. This one is one that I picked up kind of recently as well. Um, I never had a PSP growing up. I always wanted one, but they were too expensive and my parents instead got me a DSi. So <laughs> I got this instead of this, which turned out to be good. I loved my DSi, but always wanted a PSP. Uh, it popped up again at my local game store and decided to pick it up. If this menu looks familiar to you, that's because Sony was really into their XMB menu <laughs> back in the day. I know. It was on a PS3 and I mean, it's very classic. I had a PS3 uh, growing up. That was actually the first uh, main console that I ever bought with my own money. Um, I loved that. So this is very nostalgic for me. It's good to see that. Um, I've actually put a custom firmware on here, um, which is actually really easy to do. And if, if you guys would like a tutorial on how to do that, I would definitely be able to do that. But um, yeah, I put a custom firmware on there. Got a couple of games on here mostly spider-man because i'm a huge spider-man fan and with the hype of the new movie that just came out um i've been trying to play all of that i can get but uh i've got the original spider-man for the playstation 1 and spider-man 2 for the playstation 1. i have spider-man 2 oops, <laughs> kind of loud i have spider-man 2 for the psp and then i have lego batman for the psp now it's <laughs> You might be like, that's a very interesting choice of games. There are many better games that were on the PSP. And I know that um, I'm planning on putting some of them on here. It's just that Lego Batman was such a huge, like, 
I don't know. I played it on my DSi, um, and it was such a huge impact for me. I loved that game. Played it many, many times over. But um, yeah, going back to what I said before about finding cases for consoles, I do have the original PSP little sleeve that came with it, um, which is cool. And I did find this officially licensed PSP, you can see there, PlayStation Portable carrying case for it. Oops, I bumped the camera, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, official carrying case. I'll show you a little bit here. Um, I'm not 100% sure what goes in what. It kind of depends, like, this, with, I mean, without the sleeve on it, PSP fits right in this front pocket just fine. Um, I've been using this middle pocket, I think, for the charger. Yep, all the cords in there. And then this back pocket is just for games. And I think, I have, yeah, I have all my games in here. I don't have a whole lot uh, physical. I have uh, Avatar, the game. Set that out here. Avatar, the game. I have Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters, Greatest Hits version. <laughs> uh, great game, love that. And then I actually have a UMD movie, uh, Into the Blue, <laughs> with Paul Walker and Jessica Alba. It's a good movie. It's, it's funny, I found this at Goodwill, actually. Brand new sealed, which is, like, unheard of. You can tell that there are some a lot of scratches on it. It was, um, it was loose in the sealed container, so I'm not sure if it was resealed. I don't think it was, but there's that, um... Just a kind of fun little gimmick. You can watch it on the go. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy that um, PSP. Great, great handheld system. Um, a lot of great games on there. And yeah, super fun to play with. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy what you saw. I just want to say thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see anything specific, uh, that I mentioned in the video or that you saw or any questions you have, please leave it down in the comments and let me know and I will be sure to check it out. So without further ado, thank you for watching and have a nice day.